Hey Spirit, hey Spirit why, do why do you have, have antlers? antlers? Female, Female deer, deer don't have antlers, antlers like that. that. You know, you know does, does don't, don't have antlers, antlers Female right? deer don't, don't have antlers. If your OC is a female and a deer, then why does she have antlers? Aren't bucks and males be the ones with antlers, aka male deer? You must be a reindeer because you are a girl. Not trying to hate, but female deer don't have antlers, therefore Spirit is a male. Okay, I get it, guys! For the love that is all good and holy, can you give it a rest? <sighs> Happy New Year, guys. How you doing? Doing good? Great. Rant time. So, a lot of people have asked the question, Why does your character have antlers? Or more specifically, why does your female deer have antlers? And furthermore, why aren't you using her for videos anymore? I'll get to the second question closer to the end, but really quickly, I, uh... Yeah, yeah, got a contractual obligation. This video sponsor is me. I'm this video sponsor because I make these by myself. Jokes aside, I want to give a little quick thank you to my supporters on Patreon for supporting my content, especially in the dry spell of last year. I've been really focused on stuff like Ramcon and publishing my book, which in case you miss it is currently out on Amazon. So if you like books about dragons, link in the description. And hey, if books aren't your style, patrons get access to a private section on my Discord server where they can talk with me one-on-one, -on -one, get art tips, and just kinda hang out. We post memes and all that, and we got a fun little crew, so thank you guys for helping out. And hey, even if you can't support me on there, just being here and watching the video means more to me than you'd think. But anyway, back to complaining about people on the internet. So, funny fact about Spirit's original design, it actually didn't feature antlers. She was a normal, white-tailed deer based off of the type that lives here in Appalachia. When I finished the first version, I realized that it's cute, but doesn't really have anything to stand out about it. The big thing to know about making a character to represent yourself online is that it has to be unique. That isn't to say that they have to be absolutely original with a bunch of bells and whistles, but rather something that speaks to you and appeals to your tastes. So when I made a new iteration of Spirit, I wanted to include a few factors. A. She needs to have some sort of blue in her design. B. She needs to have blonde hair. And C. She needs to have a unique feature that makes her stand out from the crowd. The blue and blonde are pretty simple and have stuck around, even to the new avatar. But the antlers were a feature that I added mostly because they looked cool, but ended up having a special meaning down the line. So now that you know why I added them in the first place, why did I keep them around? Because it sure as hell is not a lot of fun to draw every single time. Well, uh, fun fact about your boy here, um... All jokes aside, the reasons why Spirit has antlers nowadays means a lot to me. And while I'm not using her as my main channel mascot anymore, I still hold her dearly to my heart. The antlers in Spice design might have started off as just a cool feature, but I realize nowadays that there's something that represents a part of myself that took a while to figure out. So, for a formal introduction, hi, I'm Spirit, these are my pronouns, and you can call me by any of these names. I might make another video this year talking about my experiences in the community and some tips for any fellow NBs who might be struggling, so if that's something you guys would be interested in me talk about, just let me know in the comments. But this video isn't about that, it's a self-indulgent rant about my OC. So why would I even make this video if I don't use Spirit as my character in my videos anymore? Well, easy answer is that I was tired of people asking and I wanted to clear the air, but to make a long story short on the second part, um. Well, easy answer is that I was tired of people asking about it and I wanted to clear the air. But to make a long story short, I just wanted to have a mascot that has a little bit more of a wide appeal that wouldn't be limited to or tied to the furry fandom specifically. Nothing against the fandom, still like the peeps in it and everything, but I'm more of an art channel than just furry, so I'd rather try to reach as wide an audience as possible. Also, just because I want to clarify it, no, Spirit is not a reindeer. She's actually modeled after a white-tailed deer, which, once again, you can find here in Appalachia. There's a huge difference, and just because she has antlers doesn't mean that she's automatically a reindeer. Honestly, I could make an entire video talking about the difference between reindeer and other deer because the entire Christmas season makes me very angry with how many people get it confused. But I kinda doubt people would care, so... Anyway, I'm rambling, where were we? So, while I have you here, I did want to bring your attention to a few different things since there's gonna be some changes starting in 2021. Uh, first things first, if you're not following me on Twitter and Instagram, please do so. I post my art on there nowadays, and I also open commissions from time to time. So if you'd like art from me, you know where to go. 
I also recommend checking out my Discord server. I post updates there and announce videos, so if you want to hang out and get notified of when new videos drop, link to that is in the description. I am now posting on TikTok and I'm scheduling bi-weekly Twitch streams, so if you guys want to keep up with me outside of the show, link in the description below. And because I feel like I need to advertise it more, my book Spectral Wings is finally published. It's out. If you like dragons and fantasy worlds and stuff like that, I left a link to the book in the description. Sharing it around and leaving a review on Amazon is really helpful since I'm an independent content creator and I'm basically doing this on my own. You can also check me out on Patreon if you'd prefer more artsy rewards and tutoring and stuff. I'm also looking into doing a monthly sticker club or even getting enamel pins made, so yeah. And lastly, if you like this video and want to see more, be sure to like, subscribe, and share it around. It supports me and is absolutely free. I'm looking to hopefully get more videos out this year, so if you guys want to see a topic in particular, just let me know. And uh, that's all for now. Thank you to my patrons on Patreon. I love you guys. You help me out a lot. A special thanks to Ghost Fox, Dual Thrones, Samba, Gwentry, Thundersnow, Antias, Draconic Xeno, and Cosmo, as well as all the lovely members of the crew. Links to all my medias, including Patreon, are in the description. Thanks for watching, I'm Spirit, and I'll see you next time.